So previously we performed signal addition on the basic test signals such as step and ramp signal. So here we will perform signal addition on some random signals of uh, various shapes. Okay. So here we have two signals x1t having this shape and x2t. Now we have to perform signal addition x1t plus x2t. So the principle of signal addition which says that at each of the time instants respective time instants we have to add the signal amplitude the respective signal amplitudes. <coughs> so we'll do that. So starting from t equals to 0 for x1 t the amplitude is 2 at t equals to 0 the amplitude of x2 t is 0. So when we add 2 plus 0 we will get 2 at t equals to 0 the resultant here the starting point. Then at t equals to 1 it is very important here at t equals to 1 there is a transition in this signal a drop from 2 to 1 a high to low you can say transition from 2 to 1 by 1 unit so at t equals to 1 you can think of it at, as having two values it falls from 2 to 1 but here it has only one single value which is 1 so for 2 considering 2 first the result will be 2 plus 1 which is 3 okay 3 then the value drops from 2 to 1 the final value of x1 t at t equals to 1 is 1 for that value 1 we will add it with 1 we will get 2 so there will be a drop here okay so again I will repeat at t equals to 1 for x1 t it has two values this here 2 then it drops down to 1 so for this 2 here it has only a single value at t equals to 1 which is 1 for x2 t so for 2 when we add 1 with it it will be 3 and for this 1 when we add 1 at 1 with it it will become 2 so we have to consider these two points because there is a transition a high to low from 2 to 1 okay so this is very important this point because there is a transition a high to low transition having two values okay so amplitude values at t equals to 1 okay so 3 to 2 now for the entire duration from 1 to 3 and from 1 to 3 the signal values are constant in both the cases here x1 t it is 1 from 1 to 3 here also from 1 to 3 it is 1 so during this entire interval from 1 to 3 the value will be 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 okay here it is also 1 here it is also 1 so it will be 1 plus 1 2 from 1 to 3 is 2 okay now again the point 3 here is important same as point 1 there is a upward transition from 1 to 2 here it is 1 then it rises to 2 almost instantly okay so for 1 this at t equals to 3 for x to t at t equals to 3 the value is 1 so for 1 when we add 1 with this one it will be 2 which is this then for the upward transition the final value is 2 when we add 1 with that it will become 3 okay same as t equals to 1 case it has two values at t equals to 3 1 and 2 there is a almost instant upward transition from 1 to 2 that therefore we have to consider two values at t equals to 3 for x1 t 1 and 2 but here it is fixed 1 only 1 at t equals to 3 so there will be an upward transition here also then at 4 the value is 2 first 
see here 2 then there is an instant drop up to 0 ok almost instantly it drops to 0 so you have to consider these two values ok so here it is 2 but here it is 0 only 0 for x to t so first we will add 2 plus 0 which will be 2 so it will be 2 and again the final value is 0 in both the case so it will be 0 plus 0 0 so that is why it will also be 0 so the shape of the signal is something like this x1 t plus x2 t ok this so always uh, the, for these sharp transitions where there is a high to low or low to high transition there you have to be extra careful you have to consider both these points ok the initial and the final ok so that is why these points also here at the initial stage t equals to 0 and 2 so you have to consider both the points so 0 to 0 0 and again 2 plus 0 2 ok this transition upward transition similarly here at t equals to 1 it has two values 2 and 1 it had a 2 to 1 transition but here it was constant fix so we had to consider two points so first we added 1 with 2 we got 3 then we added 1 with this 1 we got 2 and this was a constant value and during the entire interval 1 to 3 the value was constant which was 1 here also it was 1 so we got 2 same case for 3 to 4 ok two values we added both the one at the two values the initial and the final and we got the result ok so this is this signal addition on these two signals so previously we performed x1 t plus x2 t on these two signals in this case we will perform the x1 t minus x2 t a sort of signal subtraction ok so you can visualize it as x1 t plus minus x2 t that is x2 t uh, amplitude inverted but directly we will perform the subtraction ok so the same concept at each of these time instant we have to subtract x2 t from x1 t the amplitude values ok so at t equals to 0 this x1 t it has two values the initial value 0 final value 2 so we have to consider both of them but here in case of x2 t it has only one value because there is no transition at t equals to 0 so it is only 0 so first 0 minus 0 which is 0 then 2 minus 0 which is 2 ok this then at t equals to 1 again the x1 t it has two values because there is a sharp downward transition from 2 to 1 ok so we have to consider both of them for 2 here at t equals to 1 x2 t it is 1 so for 2 it will be 2 minus 1 which is 1 and for 1 the final value 1 if we subtract 1 from this 1 it will be 0 so it will something look something like this ok then for the entire duration the interval from 1 to 3 the value is 1 x1 t and here also it is 1 from 1 to 3 so for this entire duration the value x1 t minus x2 t will be 1 minus 1 0 so it will be 0 1 2 3 then again at 3 there is a upward transition sharp upward transition from 1 to 2 in case of x1 t but here it is still 1 at t equals to 3 so we have to consider both the values so for 1 here also 1 so 1 minus 1 0 which is there then for this 2 it will be 2 minus 1 which is 1 then at 4 the value of x1 t it has a sharp downward transition from 2 to 0 so we will consider two values 2 and 0 so for 2 here 
x to t at t equals to 4 it is 0 it is finally a gradual transition with a certain slope the value is 0 so but here it has two values because there is a sharp transition from 2 to 0 so for 2 2 minus 0 it will be 2 okay at 4 this and finally it is also 0 this is also 0 because downward transition so 0 minus 0 it is 0 so it will be like this okay so this is the final shape waveform of x1 t minus x2 t so always this transitions the sharp transitions they are very important because we have to consider both the values the initial the final here 0 to 2 sharp transition at t equals to 0 so you have to consider both 0 and 2 but here at t equals to 0 this x to t has only one value which is 0 but here because of this sharp upward transition this x1 t has two values at t equals to 0 okay 0 and 2 similarly at t equals to 1 there is a sharp downward transition from 2 to 1 so you have to consider both the values 2 and 1 but here for x2 t at t equals to 1 it has only one value which is 1 so always these transition uh, points are very important you have to consider both the values and then you have to just um, perform respective signal addition or a subtraction of the amplitudes and then you have to join the points okay so this is the signal addition and a form of subtraction also which we have performed on these two signals